Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're going to learn about hinge constraints in Roblox. In Roblox, you can use hinge constraints to allow two attachments to rotate on an axis. Here I have two different parts in my workspace. To add a hinge constraint, you're going to click on your Model menu tab, go to the Constraints section, and you're going to click on the drop-down. Look for Hinge. It's right here. Just click on that. And now you can go and select a part to place your first attachment. So I'm going to put my first attachment right here on the first part here. And then I'm going to place the second attachment on the second part. So I'm going to move it to this side. I'm going to place another attachment on this side. Now in case you don't see the attachment, that's probably because you don't have your constraint details turned on. So if, if it's off, you, you, you're just going to see this. So in that case, you want to go and click this button here, Constraint Details. To turn on your Constraint Details, then you would see it the same way I see it here. Now, if you hover your mouse cursor over this line here, you're going to see there's a warning message. Attachments are not at the same location. So in order for the hinge constraint to work, the two attachments, they have to be at the same location or maybe nearly at the same location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second brick. And by the way, before we move forward, I just want to mention that this first brick here is anchor and the second brick is not anchor. All right, so now I'm going to select the second brick. I'm going to select move and I want to move the two parts together so that these two attachments are going to be um, at the same location. All right, so I'm going to move it over until they map into the same location and now let's play and take a look you can see that gravity is pulling the part down but it, it it's uh, it's hanging on the hinge and it's pivoting it's rotating it's pivoting on the hinge the next thing we want to do today is we want to build a revolving door here I have a revolving door. I have the two walls. Uh, the two walls are anchor, and there's a little piece at the bottom here. It's called the, the uh, door center bottom. That piece is anchor as well. Um, other than that, everything else is not anchor, but there's a lot of different parts in the revolving door, which they, they are all welded together. Right. So the first thing I want to do here is, is I want to move my entire revolving door up in the air so that I can uh, insert a um, hinge constraint in there. So maybe even better if I'm gonna group all the parts here, I'm gonna group all the door panels and the door center together. Let's call it a uh, revolving door. And now with the uh, revolving door selected, we're gonna move all that up in the air. I'm going to move it high up so I can go in here and we're going to place a hinge constraint to this part at the bottom here. So I'm going to add a hinge constraint. I'm going to place it at the center of this bottom piece here. Right. And now I'm going to bring it up to the top. We're going to look up and we're going to place it at the center of this top piece here. Let, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Now I have a uh, hinge constraint attachment at the bottom and another hinge constraint attachment at the top. All right. So after that, you just want to move this entire revolving door back down to the bottom, because remember, the two attachments have to be somewhat at the same location. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to go and give it a push. It can be a little sticky, a little heavy at first. And now you can see it's loosened up and the door has started to move. All right, I can go and stop the door and push it the other way. And there it goes. Everyone, that's how you use the basic hinge constraint in Roblox. 